If you are working with TypeScript, you must know what utility types are. Stay with me in this video as we'll go through peak, omit, recall and partial. At the end of the video, I will provide you a bonus TypeScript tip that you don't want to miss. Enjoy! Alright, let's set the scene and explain utility types using a proper example. User account creation and allowing profile editing. For a user to create an account, we need a UI form and a server endpoint for creating the user. We create an interface for the user. We share the same interface between server and frontend so that we don't duplicate code. We already have a small problem. We can't use this interface for the user creation frontend nor for backend since the form doesn't have an ID field. This is set up on the server side. This is where the TypeScript utility types come into play and bring lots of value in. Pick returns a new type by picking only a specific list of attributes from another type. In our example, it will pick email and password from the user interface, return it as a type and additionally we add a new custom field confirm password. For the second step, we pick from the user interface the fields that we need for our form. Additionally, if we remove, for example, the middle name from the original user interface, when we pick that attribute, it will show us an error. Identifying this error using the compiler is very useful and one of the reasons why TypeScript is used. The same result can be achieved using omit. In opposition to pick, omit returns a new type derived from the original interface, having all attributes except the ones we explicitly specify. For step 2, we omit in the user interface the ID, email, password. All the other fields will be included. Now that the user created his account, we need our client to be able to edit his profile. We display the same form and we decide to send to the server only the change fields. Server side API needs a flexible enough type, not knowing in advance which fields the client edited. This is where partial comes into play. Partial returns a new type derived from user interface which has all attributes optional. Now the server side can use this new type to define the request body coming from the frontend. Alternatively, we can use record. It returns a new type defining an object where you can generically specify the key type and its value type. At the beginning of the video, I said that I have a bonus tip for you. We'll start by creating an address type. We add the address to the user interface, the question is how we can get the user's address type. One way of doing it is defining it directly here. A cleaner and better way to do it is by using object syntax. Now both variables share the same type. Here if we change the user's address to any, the first one will remain the address type, but the second one will be any, because it is getting the actual attribute type. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel.